Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that we are having, a, you are having a blessed day. I'm talking about real blessed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. So basically I just want to get up on here and talk about a couple of things. Uh, are you truly saved? No, no, no. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm not talking about every Sunday, every Saturday, every Wednesday night Bible study. I'm talking about a real decision to live every day for Jesus Christ of Nazareth, despite of who, despite of what. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You haven't seen me up on here because one thing God has been talking to me about, and I'm talking about very loudly. He said, my people are talking one way and living another way. He said, it is in our walk. It is in our talk. It is what we do. Honestly, I had to sit back and even evaluate everything that I've been doing for the last three to four years, just to be honest with you. Where I come from when I was in Sacramento in 2014 to 2020. And I just evaluated. And I was like, God, it's real. You can think that I, I love the Lord. I'm preaching. I'm teaching. But are you really reaching? Oh, let me back that thing up. I'm going to go ahead and use myself as an example. I remember when I was in Sacramento, every time I went somewhere, I, I was um, speaking about salvation to somebody. Somebody was going to get delivered. Somebody was going to get saved. Somebody was going to hear about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You don't hear me. People, <laughs> they didn't like to go to the store with me. They said, oh, Lord, we're going to take two, three hours because I'm possible. I, I was just on it, like on it. It was an intensified feeling. I can't explain it. Every time you can ask anybody that used to go to the store with me, it would take two to three hours because I was going to, God would always tell me, well, you know what time it is. And, and I wouldn't do it on purpose. It would just happen. So I don't, I didn't force the spirit. I noticed now I can go to the store and that doesn't happen too much. Oh, uh, come on. Somebody, y'all ain't ready for me. I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be transparent because that's all I have. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I thought about that. I said, Lord, you're right. Then let's just talk about church. <laughs> Even when you, you're in the midst of, you don't feel the Holy Spirit like you used to. Not from people, because most people are tainted. And hold on. I'm not trying to act like I'm all that and a bag of chips. I'm talking real. Y'all need that right now. The church is tainted among, because we're touching the wrong thing. We're saying the wrong thing. We're doing the wrong thing. And the most important thing, we're not spending that quality time with Jesus and in the word like we're supposed to. Praise God. Praise God. I rebuke that Satan. Get up off me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So y'all notice they stopped my, they stopped my life just now. I don't know. It got stuck. That was weird. But anywho. God was telling me, said, that's the problem. He said, my people got to come back to spending quality time. That's what I've been doing. That's why y'all haven't seen me up. I've been repenting. I've been refocusing. I've been asking God, make all things new in my life. Make me new. Make me fall in love with you again. Come on, somebody. No, 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 no. Not for Facebook. Not for people. Come on, somebody. Not for y'all to think I'm a holy. No, no, no. This thing got to be real. Let me tell you how real it is. When the world can overpower the church in news and all this stuff going on with the rappers, most people are more concerned with that than the church. That should be uh, uh, that should be right there a question, a red flag. Like when the apostles was on this earth, or even the early church, they talked about healings, they talked about deliverance, they talked about miracles, signs, and wonders. Now we're wondering where the miracle signs are at. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's talk in here for real. We're not playing. So I was like, God. And that's why I would never, ever go back to trying to start a business, entrepreneurship. And, and even my everybody tried to talk. Well, you know, maybe you could do it by yourself, this and that. Hello. When God calls you, he calls you to that thing. He calls you to that office. He calls you to his people. But I, I notice I'm not the only one. I'm just the, the far runner of this movement. 
the business part they seeped into the church. Everybody's thinking about legacies, building their own kingdoms, leaving generational wealth and this and that. My God, my God, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but that's not how they did it. My Bible says from the beginning of Genesis to Revelation, their first priority, Matthew 6, 33, but to serve God with their whole heart. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, not even ours. We're not doing that. That's what God says. We're not doing that. We're doing what we can do to get a dollar. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord, don't let me talk about it. And I'm going to start naming them. Y'all, go, you, you remember how y'all used to get mad at me in 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18? Because I was calling out names. Y'all sending me so many videos. And I don't even know half of these people. But I see through them. I've always said, you may not like me. You may not agree with me or whatever the case may be. But you cannot deny when God has his hand on a person, God has his hand on a person. He got his hand on me. I, I have the gift of sight. I've been having it since a little girl. And that's why most people don't like more. I make them feel uncomfortable. You can try to clown, play games, put on, because you got a lot of actors and actresses in the body of Christ. And I did my research on that. They're supposed to, because the devil has definitely taken over the church. Catch that one. The devil has taken over the church in this hour. Remember, he transforms himself into what an angel of light. Y'all better catch that because that's real. Most, you see, being a pastor, a preacher right now is very lucrative. Got a lot of people playing, and I'm gonna start calling them out. Cause and and, and y'all follow them. Sorry, y'all follow them. And I, I didn't peep them out. They got the gift of gab. Oh, they they tongue slick, and y'all just own it too. But but some of them I have watched just passing by, and I watch their spirit, and I see that I, I see it, and I'm like, wow. So the first thing the church needs to go back to is having the spirit of God. Because when you have wisdom and discernment, nobody can get over on you. Because And even if you miss it, the spirit of God will come back around and say, um, you remember that person or this? That's not me. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real with you. I don't have time to play. We don't have time to play because it was getting ready to come. And that's another reason. Oh, my God. So since I haven't been on here, I got so much to say. My God, my God, my God. We in trouble. Them people. They have, I told y'all it wasn't going to be long. Next year, y'all thought 2020 was something. God have mercy. 2021 is going to be worse. I know y'all don't like it. Hold on. Worse in the standpoint, the enemy is going to come double. But for the glory of God, God said, I'm going to stop some things and I'm going to start some things. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, say, but in this coming year, you got to get close to me. You got to know my voice. You got to know me for real and quit playing because this is also the season of exposure. It doesn't matter me, you, whoever. This is the year of exposure and the season like never before. So in a way, I don't, I'm not going to have to call out some of them because some of them, before the end of the year, this is a prophecy. Before the end of the year, there's three preachers that's going to be exposed. Uh-oh, you know that's only a month, but you know God can work in a day, right? He's not playing. Not with me, not with you, not with anybody. Because people are dying. I don't think y'all got it. I, I, I don't think y'all understand. Let me make this thing real clear. The church supposed to be running the world. The church supposed to have power. The church supposed to heal. The church supposed to deliver. Where is the church in this hour? Too busy trying to get, get followers. Too busy trying to everybody want to be the top apostle, the top prophet, the top evangelist, the top this. And I'm so tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all because y'all don't even have discernment. And, and I'm going to say something again. I, I'm going to say this again. And I was given authority, by the way, because y'all know you just can't come against a person. Whew. Most of these people are coming to certain people pages. One of them always come to my page. I'm going to say it. That's why I kind of like delayed because I want to hear the word confirmation again. I keep telling y'all about Marcus Rogers. I really don't care what y'all say. I'm not saying he don't love God, but he's not real. And if he don't stay off my page every time I deliver a message and come right behind me a week later and say the same thing, all y'all got to do is peep it for those that want to. Those that don't, you can say what you want to say. That is not of God. That's just like me going on another prophet page and, and she said, thus said the Lord. And I come back and I say, well, God said this. I am a liar before God. So, so, so guess what? Birds of a feather flock together. You can say what you want to say. I'm saying it. I ain't scared of you because a liar is a liar is a liar. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. And God said he can't stand a liar. You don't do that. You don't play with the Holy Ghost like that. Anything somebody else say, you're not, you're supposed to, you know, put their name or put this, what God said or something like that. You don't have to put their name per se, because it's for God, but you never take credit for what God didn't tell you because now you're lying on Holy Spirit, God and the person. That's three. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me because half of y'all follow that man because he, because he's okay. So he's handsome and stuff. I, oh, I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is. That boy is in trouble and God going to blame some of you freaky women. That's sending them all them pictures and money and stuff like that. Y'all don't see he in trouble. Y'all don't see that, huh? Y'all are making people fall. And I'm shaking that profit finger. Some men you're doing it too with women. See, when y'all falsify stuff, y'all build up egos and y'all make people go harder. Instead of somebody rebuking them and saying, stop it. It doesn't matter if it's me. We're supposed to rebuke something that's not of God. And I say, and y'all just be lying and going along with it. That encourages people to put up the facade. So now God is not just holding them um, responsible. God is holding some of y'all responsible. Because that's just like if it was me. If I'm a liar, I'm a liar. You're supposed to be, oh, she, but she said this. No, 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 no. Y'all don't understand where we at, huh? God is not playing with anybody in this hour. But he ain't the only one. There's a lot of them that do that. They see what... Top, what the real prophets are saying and they go back and they give a word on it and let me tell y'all in case you don't know my character or even my integrity I ain't never lied on nobody that said the Lord I ain't never lied on nobody even saying what I don't play I'm too scared of God and truth be told I'm already in some great warfare I don't need no more because let me tell you something a real anointed person you put your mouth on them you're gonna get backlash without permission from god you're gonna get backlash oh yes you better have permission to even speak on a person that's not right i just said something you better have permission to even speak on a person that is wrong i got permission this was like even a week and a half ago actually when i saw him do it i was like I th what it was what it was i just say i said something about um we need to come back to our first love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I tell you about a week later, he started talking. He 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 been doing it. I just and I, I say it every now and then what he's doing. But I don't really say it too much anymore. But he do it all the time. And I said to myself, Lord, let me see him in person one day. Because the brother's not a bad person. And I'm talking about Marcus Rogers. He's not a bad person. He just got caught up in some of this y'all fault. Y'all be it's just like being a star. If you keep, yeah, 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 they're going to feel the need to keep on the facade. God can't even work with them because y'all interfering, inter interfering. It's almost like the King Saul spirit. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I don't think y'all see what we have done as a whole. We've, my God, my God. The church is almost like a laughing stock right now. But you got good news. God said, because it's my church, it's my name, it's my legacy, and it's my people. I'm going to turn this thing around. Oh, come on, somebody. It's going to get we're bad next year. I'm going to tell y'all right now. It's coming. It's, I told y'all. I didn't know that chip was coming that soon, but they're not playing. They have fast forward stuff. But guess what? They could only do it if God says so. Y'all, Jesus is getting ready to come. I feel it. So I'm telling y'all he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Y'all ain't got to believe me. Some some of you can feel it. You can't even sleep because you because there's an intensity. And this intensity, there's almost like God putting pressure on his people and saying, remnant stand up, remnant stand up. Not only that though, he's telling everyone, get your house in order. Stop playing with me. Stop lying. Stop fornicating. Catch your head. Get it together. That's what I've been doing, if you want to know the truth. I had to back up. I said, okay, wait a minute. All right, I know I went around, but why? I had to look at me. Hello? What did you want so bad that you stopped doing what your first love required? Oh, come on, somebody. You can't preach this thing if you don't live this thing, if you don't ask this thing, if you don't teach this thing, if you don't preach this thing. You can't do it. You're fake. You're phony. So how can I preach it if I'm really not living it? So I had to look at, hey, hey. Get it together. Understand what your first love is. You die today or tomorrow. God, you're gonna have to, you're gonna be in judgment and what God gonna ask you. But what was your assignment, Deanna? What was your mandate? Because truth be told, it's not a chef. 
Because some of y'all doing the same thing. What is your assignment that God first told you to do? Because I guarantee you, you're called to a people. You're not called to a you're not called to a building to build. God never called us. God told us about salvation. The apostles, you notice they took what? When they went out in twos, they took one of each thing. God didn't tell them, go, go build a home, go build a business, go build a legacy, go build generational wealth. That's a lie before God. But the business mindset, you see, let me tell you how the enemy came in. And this was years ago. And I remember that. I remember when they stopped wearing the robes. And I've preached this a dozen times and I don't mind saying it again. God said the reason the enemy had to get you out of the robes because he had to get you out of the blessing. You see, whenever God, we put on the robe, let me tell you what happened. We put on the robe. What happens is God's presence is on that robe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so because his presence is on the robe, he is required to fill the church or wherever you at preaching and teaching. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. When they start putting on suits, they started thinking differently. They started thinking business. And then business came in the church and it became business instead of ministry. So now you got people, it's business and not ministry. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I got caught up in it too because it, it's, it's a wave, hallelujah. It's God says it's a wave because it feels like ministry, but it's business. And that's why I turned my back on it. When I saw what people were really trying to do, let me tell y'all, I can't tell y'all the whole plot and plan, but people were really trying to, they were really trying to offer me this big old thing. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. My computer's so say about to die. Y'all understand what's going on? Lord have mercy. So let me hurry up and finish this. So God was like, Deanna, don't get caught. And, and, Excuse me. With all due respect, I was getting caught up. And so I had to pull back. I said, God's been too good to me. Let me catch my head. Let me catch my head. It looked good. It looked good. It felt good. But wait a minute. Is this God? And I realized it wasn't God. I said, I'm going to look like a fool. They go, I go see this. I'm a prophet. I said, well, that's all right. I'll make it right. I'm going to come back to my first love. And I'll walk away from anything or anyone. Laugh, mock, clown, I don't care. You ain't got no heaven or no hell. And since I got a chance, I didn't die before in my foolishness. Lord, I repent. Hallelujah. Give me back my first love, God. Make a new me, God. Make it all new. Take anything you want to take. Hallelujah. But don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. That's my portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care about the rest. I don't think people didn't talk and say this, say that, whatever. Hallelujah. God said, come back. He's going to make it all new. He's tearing down the church, y'all, and he's building up something new. They got termites at the bottom, he say. They, they, they not rooted, at, he say. It, it, it's, it's entertainment. It's a facade. It's not real. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to do a second part of this because I'm going to tell you right now. Ooh, this thing about to go off. I don't know how they pulled it off. Well, just like they stopped it, they did. You know they could do. That's how they're going to catch most Christians with this electronic. He was wondering why they gave us the cell phone. And, and you know, and I learned this when I, most of you don't know, I was in uh, electronic engineering school at DeFry. Doing good, too. I just was tripping. I really should have stayed in there. I really liked it. But I remember we were learning analog and digital. And that's the time when they started tripping over the digital. I'm going to tell you all why. Analog cannot be traced. Oh, that was a good plan, huh? They switched everything to digital. Digital can be traced even when these phones are off. This, everything. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to have to do a part two because I don't want, oh, because it's about to go off. So, it's not to bash nobody, nor my heart. Even when I call out people's name, I got love for people. I don't hate nobody. But I'm telling you right now, this is not the time. This is not the time to play. We got to repent. Okay, well, God bless you. God keep you. I love you. I know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Let's walk like it. Let's talk like it. Let's act like it. For real. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. It's not the time. It's not the time. The enemy is taking out people left and right, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. And God says it's the church fault. 
We're not on our job. We so busy trying to make money, get a house, get a car, try to act like we all that on Facebook with all the selfies. I get on my nerve with that one. I ain't gonna lie, y'all get on my nerve. Don't you understand that self glorification? Gotta come back to God. Gotta come back to God. I'm gonna say it again. We gotta come back to God. I know they, they're messing with my stuff because they know that's that power. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. They, they, they hate it. They hate it. They hate it. That's all right. I'm going to come back. Hey, I got to go somewhere. I'm going to come back and do another one. They they tried to shut me up. Oh, y'all don't understand the things I've been going through for the last two weeks. My God, my God. But God. All right, you're going to say it again. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless. <laughs>